we decided to lay out the exhibit based on region for the most part. There's a little bit of overlap here and there and things woven in, but um, for the most part it's done on region. When you walk into the gallery, you're in the Charleston or Low Country area. Um, then you turn the corner, you begin to merge with the Low Country in Columbia. Um, this large painting is by um, Michael Phillips from Charleston. You have work by Philip Mullen from right here in Columbia. Very familiar. A lot of his work at the Coger Center. And we exhibit this particular painting as often as possible by Jay Barden. Um, there are three by Jay here. And then Lars Spong, who studied with Jay um, at the Richmond School of the Arts. And we have Mike Williams' work, who's... So we go from the Midlands and we're in the upstate area where we have work by, um, more by John Acorn, Betty Lee Coburn, um, and some 2D pieces by John Acorn. Betty Lee's from Greenville, John's from Pendleton, and then some cast bronze work by Winston Wingo, who was actually a student of John Acorn's a while back. And this, in fact, a couple of artists made work specifically for this show, um, including another upstate artist named Katie Walker. For this gallery is so huge and so vast, you have these really wonderful vistas where you look across and you can see different works sort of playing off of each other, like with Sean Cassidy's hammered enameled stainless steel sculptures on the wall, and then Paul Yanko's work on the right. You know, there's a lot of interaction happening with this work. Wow, what a fantastic exhibit. Here, celebrating the vast amount of abstract artists we have here in our own state. You're not gonna wanna miss this exhibit. I'm gonna throw it back to the station. Thank you for watching Arts Watch. I'm William Starrett, and have a good day, Columbia.